Well, that support there is. And just a little bit of impetus now, momentum behind Krychek. Fourteen double faults in all for Henman have not helped his cause in particular in that game. It depends when you do them. Yes, difficult shot. Once again, instinct. Well, the handbook says cover down the line because this one was behind Hemman, but again, look at the way that Hemman can just flick it cross court. Second time he's done it in the match. It's a good start. Yes, he's done that more or less the same sort of shot from a different part of the court, but the same technique. This is the third successive set where Krajicek has served first. And how well Hemman is responding to dropping his last service game to take this one into the fifth set. Mental strength again from the British number one. And trying yet again the similar shot, that hooked forehand. It's a good touch for a big man, isn't it? Four points in a row from Love 30. And Krychek hangs in there. One love. So much uh, of this match right now comes down to uh, not just the physical, but also the mental. Dealing with disappointments. Him and I'm sure... We'll look back at that fifth game when he had the break point. He didn't accelerate on the backhand down the line when Krychek had the, his second set point, a break point, a level of the two sets all. He ripped it down the line. What was the difference in that set?
My word, like a tiger he pounced on that. Double faults cost him in his last service game. Another one on the board there. He's just lost his rhythm ever so slightly. Needs to regain it. Gosh, that's very brave. That was miles up in the black sky. Very confident smash indeed. I think Krajak's thinking, what about the pickup as well? I mean, that couldn't have been any better. It had to be good. He had to play that, it was going in. Well played, Henman. Rock of Gibraltar there at the net. It's quality volleying from Henman. On balance all the time. Good first serve in had to be good recovery from 15:30. Krychek made a good recovery from Love 30. Well, new balls and an, another new racket for Krychek. He, he must come out with about 10 or so in that big thermo bag that you can see at the bottom of your screen. Quite phenomenal. Well, Heman not happy with people behind uh, Krajcek's arm just coming in to sit down. They really shouldn't be allowed in.
Ace number 18 from Krychek, only four from Hemman. Rather lacklustre second serve. Dealt with rather easily. It's gone down as an ace, but him and nicked it. <coughs> Big serving by Krychek, and no breaks. He leads 2 1. If you were going to go uh, this one in the final set on serving, then Krychek will come out on top. 20 aces, only six double faults compared to four aces from Herman and 15 double faults. So a few too many free points coming from Herman. It really is very, very close. Herman, you'd have to say, well, he's had his chances uh, to win this one. He had. What break points in the opening Krychek service game of the match didn't take them. Krychek took the set. And Hemman uh, took the next two. So if Hemman had taken his chances, this could all have been over and done with a long, long time ago. But uh, as it is, Hemman serving at 1 2 in the fifth set. Greg Wazetsky going out uh, in the heartbreak fifth set. Let's hope it's not the same for Hemman. Nice deep volley again then. Had to be. Yep, third time he's played the high backhand smash very well. There is that so dangerous drill backhand down the line. How he won the fourth set. And this side's supposed to be his weaker wing belt. Quite phenomenal how he can just rip it down the line. Again, Hemman going into the corners, letting Krychek run onto balls. It's been much more successful, Hemman, when he's gone back behind his opponent. Remember, Krychek, six foot five, difficult to turn. Yes, closed right in then, Henman. He played that well, Henman, because as ever, Krychek was following in the return. Henman just kept his eye on the ball, didn't look at Krychek one bit.
That couldn't have been a better volley. Once again, good footwork and just skidded it away into that corner. And Crutchett laughing, probably thinking I should be in Shea Stadium. That one was a home run. Doesn't seem at the moment to be quite so confident on the forehand passes. Said this right the way through this match, Bill. We're only two all in the fifth set, but these two are known for tiebreakers. Could you imagine having a tiebreak to finish this one off? Some finish. Certainly would be. there quickly Project right now for me, the player that ever so slightly is serving the better. Getting more free points. Well, he ripped that one, but too long. And Krajicek goes ahead 3-2. Yeah, well, Krajicek is certainly serving the better on the aces count. He's done now 20. Henman still only four. Double faults. Krajicek six. Henman 15. Tells quite a long story, that. And they've been on court for three hours. The uh, worrying figure for Henman right now is that his second serve points one is dipped below the 50, whereas Krajicek is, is at 60, which uh, is very good indeed and as we thought this one was going to be tight and they haven't disappointed uh, without question the, the match of the tournament so far purely on the quality the sustained quality from both men it hasn't really dipped at all but Krychek is the one who is serving first in this final set and you think if it edges to the four alls, the four fives, with the way that uh, Hemman's serve crumbled a little bit, didn't it, at the end of the fourth set, Krychek, you think, would be a slight edge on, edge on favourite. Well, this is a real night match at the US Open, just a sort of match. I imagine they anticipated. Just a little bit predictable, that uh, scenario there, played by Henman. Serve up to the net, volley to the backhand corner. Henman 
and disturbed up in the stand behind Krychek. Oh, that's impossible luck. Most of those net cords hit hard. They're flying off into the stands. Hemman had it covered as well, didn't he? Would have been a tough volley, but, uh, well, you make your own luck. It was a good return. Neither player can relax for a moment. In most matches, you can pace yourself a bit. Here, it's flat out all the time. Great serve, plenty of pace down the middle. The radar only uh, signaling 60 miles per hour, but that has to be wrong. It shifted from 122 to 60 for some obscure reason. Good serving. the first half of this set over we enter the danger period and telling himself shorter swings don't take such a big wind up on the return keep the racket out in front and use the wrist he's got the capabilities Turning's just gone off a little bit from Hemman. Hit an excellent patch in the middle of the fourth set. Krychek did well to, to hang on in. Oh. That's a great return. Such a good angle. Well, don't look so upset, madam. It's not over yet. Still plenty of life. Remarkable how the service percentages have held up. Henman always ahead, over 60, 62 at the moment. Krychek just below the 60 at 58.
vicious. And Krajicek steams ahead again. And he's 4-3 up, final set. Still, Bill, at times, would like to see uh, Tim Hemman just mix up that backhand return a little bit. He's continually driving through it. It's still a, a, a pacey serve from Krajicek, even though we're deep into a fifth set. And if his timing is, is not perfect, as we uh, come into quarter to one in the morning here in New York, uh, he, he's not making the return. Some people uh, can't keep awake. Uh, we certainly are. Uh, let's hope that somebody uh, wakes him up after this match is finished or he might wake up as the sun comes over Arthur Ashcourt he's got his money's worth anyway well people will be getting up in England around now some of the early birds quarter to six in England and this would be a feast to have at breakfast time but he could just do Bill with, with just, just chipping a little bit on the backhand Krychek is continually going out to that Hemmons, the Hemman backhand side and if he just chipped it and gave Krychek no pace, asked him to play up, just varying it, it, it might make a difference. Yeah, I quite agree. Rather in the, like Pat Rafter, who just sort of almost blocks it back. Alters the pace as well. Here's a vital game to save. 3-4 down. Caught good. And I'm not sure whether Hemman really needed to play this. Let's have a look. Well, it may have dipped in. I could have sworn that was wide. It was called good. Yes. He's seeing the ball very well, isn't he? Krajicek, ominous. Oh, that's a crucial miss. If he loses this match, He's going to remember that shot, which would have given him 15.30. Yeah, an absolute gift, this. You'd bank on Krychek making this one nine times out of ten. But still, he is the one that is making better quality returns. Consistently. Well adjusted there. Feet had to do a bit of work, brain had to do a bit of work, and eyes had to be glued to the ball. Forty fifteen to pull level at four all. Very good return again, off backhand there. Just ushering a, a moth away from the court. That was a good 
Good backhand by Hedman, just wide enough to crumple the racket of Krychek. He really needed it for all. Now then, what can Hedman do here? Krychek has been the one in this final set that has been making uh, better returns consistently. Hedman has started uh, games off against the Krychek serve not too well. He needs one of those rather rare double faults to set him up here. These are the guys who are supposed to control the people wandering around. It's unbelievable. Well, you called it, Bill. Double fault it is. Hasn't served one for a while. I wouldn't have thought he's nervous. He's played a very equable, good-natured good match, actually. No, I don't think he's nervous at all. But a chance for Hemman to apply some pressure. Yes. He needs a load of second serves, doesn't he, to tee off on. Well, I'd like to see him block a few more. Yeah, so would I. It's a very good volley under pressure. See him and thinking out here, watch where he's returning serve. He's taken a couple of paces back on the first serve. Just giving, giving Krychek a different view. See how far back he is. It does offer Krychek a, a few more angles, but it also in turn give him an, a longer view of, of the ball coming towards him. Well, there's the payoff. Stand further back, you give the one out wide, the angle. Big serve as well, 126 miles per hour. Out wide. Thunderous serving. And he's put himself one game away from the next round. Even though he lost that game, Bill Hemman, I, I like what he was doing out there. It, it shows uh, clarity of thought under extreme pressure. He realized that he hadn't been returning particularly well in this final set, so he backed off a little bit to give himself a longer look. But then Krychek saw it and realized that the angles were there and finished up with two aces, one out wide on the, the uh, ad side and one out wide on the juice side. So both men under extreme pressure, really still thinking out there. And you can't pay a, a higher compliment than that. No, quite agree with that. And it's been a classic encounter, a thrilling match for this uh, late night crowd to be watching. It's nearly one o'clock New York time. And Henman has to come up with some first serves now to deter this man from chipping and charging. And if he does that successfully and volleys well.
That's good. Two first serves in. That's the way to keep the big man away from danger around the net. And that's three first serves in. And that makes all four. That's very good. Hemman's first love game of this final set. That's got to be good because Krychek was the one that was pressing on the return. And one more service hold a piece, and we will have that tie break that we talked about at the start of this final set. Not wide enough from Krychek. It's been some time since that has happened. That instant forehand return for a winner. Emman once again giving himself a little bit more time to see the serve. That's brilliant. Look at that, playing that almost off the left leg, just at the last moment, the weight going through the shot. Now then, will Hemman realize that the majority of times when Krychek has been at love 30, he's gone with a big flat serve down the middle. Well, Krychek's thinking, or maybe he's just not thinking what was uh, so successful before. I think he is thinking. Well, there was the big flat one. That's been repeated many times, hasn't it, at the Love 30 situation? Now here's a biggish point, the 15-30 point. <laughs> that was a biggish serve. Takes the aces up to 23. Pretty quick out wide. This is just huge serving. 130 MPH from Love 30. Unanswerable serves. Magnificent serving. Takes him to the security of knowing he's got two chances. He could break or he could go into the tie break. Yet another racket comes out. Tell you, Bill, you've, you've got to hand it to Krychek. Whenever he's been under pressure, the, the big serve uh, has come out. Unbelievable serving from Richard Krychek from, from Love 30. Thought he might go for the big flat one down the middle. He thought, well, okay, I've done that before. I've done it a lot. Maybe Hemel will pick it. Went out wide, got the net called, and then went for his favorite and made it. Now, this is where Hemel has got to forget what happened at the end of the fourth set, where he came out and he served, what I think, about three double faults in that game to really hand Krychek the break and the set. He's got to forget about that, focus in on getting the first couple of first serves in, get the first couple of points on the board. 
and, and look to take us into the tie break. Well, I certainly hope Henman is not getting uh, as excited as the crowd obviously are here. These doughty supporters who've uh, hung in here until the early hours of the morning in New York. Once again, last service game, he got four first serves in. That made the job relatively simple. Can he do it again? And serving with the new balls. 5-6. Well, the same stage in the fourth set, 5-6, Henman served three double faults. Just gone past one o'clock here. Can't afford to give three points away at this stage. Another crunching return from Krajicek. Nothing wrong with the serve. Oh, it was in the pocket though, Bill, wasn't it? Look at yeah, this. Yeah, apart from that. It wasn't <laughs> accurate enough by a long, 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 long way. Well, it's heart in mouth time then for Henman. Had to check, play it off the ground. Five, six, thirty-all, final set. 